Healthy Show brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts. And this month is March, which means National Craft Month. And so we are so happy because here we are in the Mapuna Puna Ben Franklin, one of the best craft stores in Hawaii, right? Yeah. Yay! Right. Ah, we have our special guest because this is such a special show. I'm so happy we have a whole live audience to participate and celebrate with us. And so we're going to start the show with Meli Enos because she's going to get us ready for graduation, right, Meli? Right. Yeah, you have a beautiful lei that you're wearing. Are you, are you going to teach us how to make that one? Yes. And uh, So what is it called? I, I asked the audience and they said maybe Lukilani or Sunburst, any one of them is fine with me. <laughs> Anything? Okay. okay, you're a good teacher, so what do we okay. got to do? So, first if you want your uh, flowers to be a little bit bigger, you use the H hoop. H. Yeah. Okay. And if your uh, cording is two millimeter, it's better to use the G so that G. the flowers are not big and uh, just right. Okay. Just like this. 2G. Okay. 2G. Okay. So first you get your cording mm -hmm. and we chain six. Okay. Chain so, six. So, so you gotta I'll start. start. Yeah. I have to make this individual flowers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you make 19 of them or 21 of them. Of those things? Yes. Of those flower things? Yes. Of those sunbursts? Sunbursts, yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, they say, uh, it's so pretty, but uh, would it take me one month to make? And I said, no, one sitting is fine. Okay, so I'll change six. Okay, one, That's the one that two, you just pull through. three, four, five, six. six. Yeah, okay. just go in front and pull in. Yeah. Okay. And then you slip stitch. Slip stitch means to the first loop. It means you got to go pick up that line and just go straight. And pull it through both loops. Right. Now you have a small circle. Okay. okay. That will be your base. Now you're going to make the, what the we rosettes. call the rosettes. Okay. You chain three. One, two, and three. three. You go back to chain two. And you single crochet. Single crochet means you just got to go through the two loops. Then you go back to the first one, and that's your rows. That's the first row. That's the first row. Okay. And then you go to the next chain, so and you just... Chain two? Yeah, chain... Uh, from the ones from that, the one that you made already. And now you have the first rows. You slip stitch, okay? So you make six, and it becomes like this. Uh, so, so that's five already, yeah? You make six and it comes five? No, no, no. I mean, to continue this, oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. to save time, I okay. made one that's almost done, and this is number six, two, four, five, and so six. So that's the last one. That's the last one. One, okay. two, three, back to two, and then back to one which I shouldn't have cut it off. <laughs> okay. And then you make your number six rows, okay? Mm -hmm. And the way to close it is just go to the last chain, pull it in, go in, and pull it out. And if you don't pull it out, it will unravel. Okay. So then you tie these two together and to it? keep it intact. That's your first flower. And then you cut this part so that when you glue it, it doesn't show. So that's my first rose. So you said you usually make about how many of these? Uh, 21 or 19. So here I have 21 of them. The reason it's 21 is when you count the base, you chain the base, yeah? So the base is where you glue the flowers, this part. So I'll teach you how to make the base. Okay. You chain 100 times. That's for the 21 flowers. I will have the tie already, so I start here, so that you don't have to connect the tie, OK? Oh, OK. So I'll chain uh, 100. That's for 21 flowers. So chain one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to 
finished that. I made okay. one already. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> okay, so this so is 100. Time. Yeah. Just doing that chain. Yeah, and I'll teach you how to go around so that it will be wider. Okay, so that's the length. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to make the second portion of it to make the uh, you know, base. the base, the flat one, okay? So, this is the number 100. Okay. And I go around, go back. So, I skip one. Don't go to each, otherwise it will be too crowded. Okay. Either single crochet or slip stitch, doesn't matter, Just okay? Just get it on. Okay, chain one, I go to the other one skip one all the time okay always skip one always skip one okay and then chain one skip one you go to the next so you can do less yes you can so do 50 and it will be like that to the end and it becomes like this now to put the green yarn uh -huh. okay so i will show you how Okay. So you got you did your so whole row. So you just imagine that this second row is already up to the end, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you take your yarn, any okay. yarn, nani, whatever you whatever, feel like, to yeah. Yarny. Yeah. Okay. I always have to have the things going up, yeah, the yarn going up, and. I do not do it on the front side. I do it on the other side because it's more fussy that way. How do you know which is which? Okay, that is the right side. Okay. And that is the. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's more the right side looks smooth. Nicer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I join it at the end here. Uh huh. And then you tie. So you slip it in and you tie it. Yeah. And that's how you start. So I pick it up and you chain two. Chain two. Okay, so I go one, two, okay, to make it more fuzzy. You skip one again and you go to the next. And you pull it through, through and you go slip stitch. To catch it? Yes. And, and chain, chain two, two again and go to skip the one. skip one until you go all around and you done it this way. Okay. Now you take all your flowers. So you have to do it on both sides. Yes, on both sides. And you line them up. You put them first and uh, arrange them before the glue gun is too hot because then you know where it comes from and you just glue one at a so time. So you just space it out. Space it out and uh, until it's filled up to the end, okay? And then on the other side, you cut the same length of this uh, cording and there will be your two ties. Now you take your Cuckoo nuts. Cuckoo nuts, if or you want pink, they have pink, all kinds of colors. Put them in and have your glue gun. And it's ready like this. Very good. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I'm glad you came up with this idea. Thank you, Nelly. You're welcome. It's, it's really, really beautiful. And yeah. I want to thank you and um, thanks for joining us on National Craft Month. Yes. You're one of the best crafters here in Hawaii. It's my pleasure, my dear. Thank you. Well, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back.